ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ಕೃಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮುಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಬೃಂದಾವಿತುಸಿ ದೇವೈಕಿ ಆವೈಕೇಶ ಶ್ರೀಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯಮರಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟುದೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುಕಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಕರೋಸು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿಹಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿಹಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹತಾಕ್ಷು ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತು ಭಾನು ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಭಿ ಪಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
जन्नामधीयम्रियमानु आत्रा पतनोस पतंस खलन बाविबसो ग्रनं तुमानो विमुक्त कर्मारुगल उत्तमां गतिम प्राप्नोति अक्षंति नोतम कलो यना जन्यामधीयम्रियमान आत्रा पतंस कलन बाविबसो ग्रनं तुमानो निमक्त कर्मारुगल उत्तमां गतिम प्राप्नोति यक्षंति नोतं कलो यना हां गौरीय गोष्टी बोती सिसिला गौरीय गोष्टी बोती सिसिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इंडिपेंडेंस व्हाट डज इट मीन दैट इस अभक्ति व्हाट डू मीन बाय इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिपेंडेंस मींस अभक्ति देर इस नो भक्ति एट ऑल गौरीय गोष्टी पति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन हाउ मेनी डेज दैट ऑन अवर ओन पावर on our own power, we'll be just uh, be uh, having uh, that faith that I am. When we are having that full faith on us, on our own power, that uh, we have that false ego, that uh, that whatever mate- in this material world there is actually experience, material experience we have just gained. On our experience bank, bank we are just. Uh, having faith and uh, we are having this faith that our in, uh, mind is very intelligent, very sharp. When we are we having this kind of faith that I am very intelligent, I am a lot of things like this. Up till that point, he, he, the person will not, uh, not at all, will get Sharnagat on to Lotus Feet of Bhagwan. Any person <coughs> that will not get Sharnagat onto lotus feet of Bhagwan, he will not get Sharnagat at all. The bonded jivas, this is the natural uh, pravirti behavior from infinity birth that the bonded soul uh, can just find lot of uh, uh, lot of faults in others. It you will find a lot of faults in others, but inside him. He will not be seeing any kind of fault. Up till that point, he don't can can't see any kind of fault in himself. It is not possible for him. He can find fault in others. When he is having confidence on his own, he has his own power, on his own intelligence, <coughs> and on his own experience. If he is having full faith and full confidence, up till that, up till that end. He cannot get Sharnagat onto the lotus feet of the Bhagavad Charan. He can't. It cannot be possible to get Sharnagat. Prapatti. And when Sharnagati and your mind, your intelligence, if it is not getting, when it is uh, only you are my only faith, Bhagavan. Apart from that, I have seen everything, nothing is there. Only you are my only faith. By just to, in order to get free from Kaam Krodh, that calm growth, low move, all these six enemies in order to just, uh, I have uh, done a lot of efforts in order to just uh, win over them, but uh, I cannot uh, win them. Lot of efforts I have put, individual efforts, but nothing has happened. So today I have just, uh, I have just left my personal effort. And whatever uh, confidence I have on me, I am just taking Shanagati onto a lotus feet. Bhakti Thakur has written this Kirtan. 
অনেক যতনে অনেক অনেক যতনে সেসব দমনে ছাড়িয়াছি আশা আমি অনাথের নাদ রাখি তখন এখন ভরসা আমার কাম all calm crowd i just to want to just to get uh, win over them but uh, i have seen a lot but nothing has happened now only your lotus feet i am taking sharnagati that is the actual pathway of sharnagati when whenever we are not getting sharnagati on the lotus feet of bhagwat charan that kind of buddhi we are not getting up to that point we will be thinking oh i am a biggest person i am the biggest person this i am giving uh, the topmost uh, value when har kiya hua shakti ka then we that will when will be thinking that uh, our power is is nothing shakti is mine only why you have taken it from someone no 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 its shakti is not yours shakti you have taken it from bhagwan you are from material world prakriti kriya mana hai that your body it is made of five elements and you have just taken birth from the womb of your mother and whatever uh, this uh, shapes uh, this uh, grains barley rice everything you are just taking you are making your body very fit and fine you are thinking that your super your power is yours but it is not yours this is not your power this is the actual power given by prakriti what are what metals minerals and vita vitals you have just got from protein you just that's why you just got power if you don't take then you see nothing you take then you see what it will become very difficult so if this power actually is in your that is not yours actually that's why proper actually speaking that if some person that he has just taken his if the person who has just taken a uh, power from someone that shakti from someone if he is just uh, uh, thinking that uh, the shakti is not his and he is so weak when on his false ego he has just uh, uh, whatever individual efforts he is making that i am very big and uh, he is just showing that uh, apart from him nobody is bigger than him when he will be just under, understanding this point that whatever individual efforts i am making it is all useless then only that person will get charnagat 100% and he will uh, be taking arohavad before that it will it is, it is not at all possible to take that pathway like brahma ji when uh, like uh, brahma ji he is our uh, guru work he is just showing us the leela brahma ji when actually on his own power he is having that confidence on his own power then he just uh, uh, he, he was just made foolish then he thought that it is not uh, my uh, plate of cake this is out of my range when brahma ji thinking on his own efforts when he just left that he just taking the shelter of bhagwan in the in the same way same thing he is done when govardhan uh, hill so he is taking on the on his finger and when indra just tried each and every effort to just uh, uh, bring the blood prajdam into flooded flooded condition but he did not get any um, successfulness and after, and in the last he just became uh, foolish who am i actually he has done so much of uh, efforts individual efforts that for 7 days he has just uh, flooded the whole braj but he couldn't do anything couldn't do anything everything whatever is done is all useless everything gone into water after that he just got sharnagat on the lotus feet of krishna and he was just speaking oh prabhu please uh, you forgive me i actually just uh, thinking in a very uh, other manner and you are actually paratvara kileshwar bhagwan so like this he is actually they are taking the test of lotus feet of bhagwan krishna and just taking the shelter of his lotus feet and he becomes sharnagat 
when uh, the person is just believing on his own individual efforts that he will he can he can't uh, go to the pathway of sharnagati prabhupada always used to speak that gajendra this is actually uh, he is an elephant he is an elephant gajendra <coughs> and he is actually mad and uh, just by he is taking his wife and his child he is actually taking bath in the sarovar in the pond with all his family and he has done so much enjoying enjoying mood inside that sarovar that you can't even imagine that there is one kumbir there is one crocodile in the water he has just taken one of his feet with his mouth and, and what happened he is actually is a water water uh, reptile so that's why power uh, he has more power in water so he has uh, he was he has taken him with such a force that all his uh, life and vital are actually are in put into danger so much danger danger was there in his life then now it is just the question of life and death for him now at that time what happened gajendra couldn't uh, rescue himself from there and after that lot of uh, uh, lot of efforts he has made but he was not successful to come out successful all his wife child they have tried their best to just uh, get the gajendra out of that condition but still nothing happened they couldn't uh, do anything in that and after that when that elephant that gajendra and that kumbhi that that he is who who gandhar that crocodile he has just came in the form of elephant the oh in between both them both of them so much fighting was going it is like for 1000 years they were fighting and the fighting was not stopping at all and both of them were on their own individual power they are just fighting with each other but gajendra actually he is actually not a he is not a water reptile it is it is he can't stay in water for long time so the power of gajendra actually slowly steadily de- getting decreased day by day slowly steadily his power just getting decreased day by day so what to do now and uh, after that in order to he can't uh, he can't get out of that and uh, whosoever all his wives child everyone has uh, and he has just left the, his individual efforts and in the last he has just taken sharanagati of bhagwan he is just calling bhagwan why because because of his previous sanskar previous sanskar of his previous life because of that he just got remembered immediately he was just calling bhagwan but not directly with his name but actually we are speaking now harinam chintamani the actual um, prabhav of naam glorification of naam maybe he is not actually calling uh, Yeah, he is calling bhagwan indirectly but still bhagwan can understand that he is actually calling me bhagwan understand that very finely that he is calling me then gajendra the previous in the previous life the mantra what he has just got from his gurudev he just remember that and that's why it is written here jajapo paramam japyam jajapo paramam japyam What's written? What is written there? It is written there. In his previous life, what mantra he has got from his guru Dev? He just immediately remembered that, and he just started doing that chap of that mantra. And before that, he is actually feeling, realizing that it is not uh, the plate of my cake. I can't do that. before he was not at all charnagat gajendra he when he has just taken charnagat of bhagwan when all his individual efforts are just going into water 
whatever efforts he has, has done individually all went into water after that the jinder take the shelter of bhagwan those persons who are full of false ego and they have that karma kandi intelligence they are abudevadi that we should get a lot of success in our life like this so they they this they want actually they are actually foolish naked beggars but they are just uh, want they just want this what is this actually is it uh, the is it the thing to just ask just uh, life is just for two days and still like a dumb ass he is asking for all these thing but what to do his intelligence is not there he's mad this abudevadi there's arahuvadi and those gyani vakti they are also foolish because they are thinking themselves jeev in bengali it is written that gyanis are always thinking themselves very knowledgeable that i am actually went into that jeevan mukt uh, condition vastu to bhukti shakti nasuti nahi bhakti bhakti chhod ke that apart from bhakti yeah, his in intelligence is not at all pure his mind is not pure so how he is actually mukt what is the question that gyani just want to uh, become brahma and that bonded jiva how he can become brahma it is not all possible brahm hari hari anant hari rupa anant kaise koi bhave in our bonded condition i just become very big this kind of vichar that is called arahovad that is actually called arahovad that i will become very big thing that is called arahovad ascending procedure that is an ascending procedure पर एक्चुअली इट्स अ डिसेंडिंग प्रोसीजर टू प्रोसीजर्स आर देयर वी आर एक्चुअली वी आर व्हाट एट व्हाट पोजीशन वी आर एट प्रेजेंट इन दिस पोजीशन दीस आर ऑल ओवर द ज्ञानी इफ वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग एफर्ट्स टू बिकम दैट वी शुड नॉट डू दोस एफर्ट्स टू बिकम अ रोवत ज्ञानी दोस आर ऑल ओवर ज्ञानी ऑन योगीस दैट काइंड ऑफ दुर्बुद्धि व्हेन इट्स कमिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ वेरी डेमोनिक माइंड व्हेन इट इज कमिंग this we should leave whether we should also not uh, be going towards bhukti and mukti because those kinds of bhukti mukti are just one kind of cheating cheating propensity in our life and if it just become by his body speech and mind is doing like that and he just go into hell but if by his body mind and speech he is just getting chanagar onto lotus feet of uh, uh, guru vishnu bhagwan and he is just praying on to their lotus feet then definitely he will just be getting out of this material bondage and up till who has that much of pandit that educational qualification he has according to that up to what grade he is a pandit or whether he is a foolish up to to what grade he is where he is actually up till that point he don't need to do anything he just need to uh, hear hari katha from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu that a prakrit vaikunth vani he has to hear that is the actual suggestion of prabhupada that is the actual upadesh of prabhupada it is not suggestion it is upadesh just those who are actually uh, top most to guru vishnu just need to hear continuously vaikunth vani from their lotus mouth continuously in our present situation now that we are in the kuntha bhumi platform what is our actual situation now that is uh, that is within certain limit 
Like the case, our eyes, in front of our eyes, some uh, some book is there. Actually, Maharaj, you just uh, read that. Are you, uh, how to, can it be possible to read like that? You just be uh, make a safe distance to read. Oh, you are making it too far away from me. Just make it more closer. It means that our sense organ, mind, intellect can... Some limit is there. Whatever mind, intelligence, power, whatever is there, it is under some uh, certain limit. And apart from that, when it is going out, it, ca it can't be done. Not possible. So all those from the lotus mouth of pure Vaishnava, when we are hearing Harikatha from the lotus mouth, slowly steadily his other archaran and sleeping eating, Ramanachar is speaking that if your character, qualities and if you are not uh, changing it, then you just need to go in front of an actual sadhu. What will happen? You just by sitting only, it, everything will be done. What you will carefully see what actually he is doing and you will just see his walking, eating, sleeping, you will definitely get some effect inside your heart and you will definitely change yourself very easily. But in, the, uh, in our present situation, our actual that uh, have, we have some power like uh, money power, man power, educational power, whatever is there, it is at a certain limit. We are actually in, a, in this Devi Dham, where we are actually here in this material world, in our present situation we are in the Devi Dham, that is called Devi Dham. So in this Devi Dham, you can't even wish anything there. This, in, this is actually Devi Dham. Here every relationship, every object and, and every person there is some fault. They are not at all complete, there some incompleteness is there. Whatever object, what in this material world or every person you are speaking, everything have some limited power. They are not at all complete, they are incomplete. Maybe they are very intelligent, but still they are having some certain limit. They can't go out of that limit. That is called Kuntha Jagat. There is actually no completeness, there is no satisfaction in this. And which is incomplete Vastu, in which is incomplete object, you are taking that. And you are taking that incomplete Vastu. If you are very happy, then a dumb ass like me, foolish will not be there in this whole material world. If I am very happy with this incomplete uh, object in this life, he is thinking that I am very uh, happy with this. But that Vakunta Jagat, the condition of Vakunta Jagat is not like that. Wherever we will be uh, there on this material earth or residing there in, on that ma ma material earth, that is called Devidham. In Brahm Samhita, it is the order is written that which Dham is where. It is already written. And Brahad Bhagavat Amrath will definitely be uh, doing a discussion about this and how to go up. So like uh, in Brahmalog, if we'll just be going there, then we'll be staying there only. After Brahmalog, we just need to bifurcate that Brahmalog and after that going from Virja, we just need to go to go to impersonal Brahma Infulgence and after that we will be going to the Mahesh Dham. After that, up and up when we are going to Vekunta Dham, after that Golok Vrindavan. So Golok Vrindavan is the topmost place where we have to go. It is already written. So we are this uh, some hesitation is there. Uh, whatever relationship we have, that is hesitation. It is not out of hesitation. Whether mother, father, whether, whether friend, whether uh, mother, father, whether son, father, whether uh, mother, son relation, any relation. Whatever relation is there in this material world, it is all hesitation in the form of hesitation and some limitation is there in that. There is no uh, actual advantage in it. I, we have already told that previously as well. 
that whatever uh, prema and whatever x to up the up the point we are seeing like uh, the last case of dela majnu like double uh, anti like jim dela this kind of uh, relationship what they have these are all inside this relation there is some kind of hesitation that is not at all pure there is some kind of limitation in it why because it is kuntha mein jagat but if in this kuntha mein jagat just by doing hari naam we are just uh, getting into this vaikuntha jagat just without taking shelter of hari naam without taking shelter of hari naam if someone actually we just want to go to this to, from this jagat to vaikuntha jagat it is not at all any uh, clue written in the shastras that uh, just without taking the support of harinam someone has just gone to vaikuntha jagat how it is possible it cannot be possible bhagwan naam is coming in the form of name and uh, bhagwan is coming in the name of uh, uh, in the form of name and bhagwan is just getting manifested himself in the form of name and in the swarup of naam he is just uh, getting descended on in this material world in order to just uh, deliver us from this material bondage otherwise whatever is there all useless prabhu hone ka malik hone ka rasta he is the actual master that is anugatya ki sasna that is actually the pathway of karma kand agar aap if we are actually we are in front of gurudev and vishnu by we are just by our we are doing acting of that vinamra bhav inside they are actually oh what is actually gurudev this kind of bhav is but externally we are just showing that we are respecting gurudev externally but in this situation this condition just to get guru kripa it is not at all possible why because there is inside our heart is duplicity kapat bhav is there we just want to become prabhu we just want to become very big so definitely we will get into fallen condition this whatever the mani or shastra vaikun thani which is coming to us it will all become useless why because we will not be able to take that that's why only sharnagat vyakti will be getting the teachings of the shastra if you can just show me that then i will be very much helpful i will be very much thankful to you you just show me even one example that he knows a lot of shastra he is just giving lot of examples of shastra but still he is not getting any sharnagati on the lotus feet of gurudev and he just get delivered to that vaikuntha bhagan the deeper uh, meaning of the shastra will definitely get in front of that person who has just got the grip of the shastra completely up till now that aprakri jagat whatever word we are actually hearing of that aprakri jagat what qualification he has got if that also is not there in you diksha hari naam so god proper speaking that birth by birth birth by birth our hearing organ it is birth by birth in this uh, already all the time we are just hearing prakrit jagat word and we have just become a dead body after hearing all this prakrit jagat word and we have just become a deaf as well and uh, in order to just uh, show the pathway of a prakrit jagat slowly steadily you just need to follow pure guru vaishnav and when he will just become sharnagat 100% on to lotus feet of satguru then definitely in his heart that abhrabhu jagat shabd brahm will definitely get established inside his heart and he will catch everything he can even digest that as well not to hear but he can digest as well so whatever intensity and intention one is uh, just hearing lot of people actually hearing hari katha just to hear is not a big thing but after hearing when he'll be just remembering that and he'll be applying in his life that is actual hearing like gokaran ji maharaj uh, in his dream lot of uh, people are there in front of him and uh, hearing bhagavad katha 
in front of uh, Kokaranji Maharaj. A lot of villages people were actually sitting and Kokaranji Maharaj actually was just speaking Bhagavad Katha. That is the actual third session of Bhagavad Katha what he was speaking. Parikshit Maharaj when Sukhdev Goswami is the first session Bhagavatam. This is a third session. He's please he's speaking in front of Nandagari means he's speaking in front of everyone. But Gokaranji is actually giving the advantage to Dundugari has just taken because you need capacity to take something because he was feeling necessary to take that. When in our life we just understand that without uh, this there is no other pathway open for us. It is just the question of life and death for me. And you will understand that you are already there in the flow of water, in this Maya flow of Maya. Then you will be speaking, oh, please save me, please save me, like this we will speak. But actually there is no feeling in this that uh, flow and there is no demand. Then there is actually no demand. And if there is no demand, there no, will be no supply. In economics it is already written. There is one very nice uh, thing written there. Demand and supply are are compensating factor to each other. If there is no demand, then what is the use of supply? And if there is no supply, and there is no demand, then they are all compensative factor to each other. There is one harmony in between these. In our life also, just to, just to get Bhagavad Prabhupada, there is no actual no will inside us. So this kind of will to get Bhagavad Prabhupada, there is no actually will to get Bhagavad Prabhupada, then how we can get that thing? So demand and supply are compensative factor too. That is, if there is no demand, then how we can get supply? And demand should be effective demand. In economics, there is effective demand, there is one thing. And there is false demand, another thing. So what is actually effective demand and what is false demand? False means, in economics it is written there, that when there is demand inside you, in order to get that particular thing, and you are just standing in front of a very, in a sweet shop, front of a sweet shop. I suppose you are actually uh, standing in front of a sweet shop, and uh, there is lot of greediness that I should be uh, taking all these um, sweets. You are feeling it very greedy to take all those sweets. But you don't have any money in your pocket. You can understand this point. You are getting the wish, desire to just, you can eat all the sweets, but you don't have money. So if you don't have money, then that uh, sweet shop owner will give you sweet. No, he will not give you a dal. Why? Because you don't have any money. So that is called as a, a calling, it actual demand is there, but that is not effective demand. You have demand, but that is not at all effective because it will become effective when, when inertial power will be there, when financial power will be there. So in order to just fulfill your demand, you need financial power for that. So when it will, it will be effective demand that in order to just to buy, you want to buy one building and land property, but you don't have money. So you, when you have money, then definitely you can just take that land. Whether to take land or not, it is not in your know, hands. But in order to get anything, if you have money and you have demand, that is called effective demand. When, when nobody, that person don't have that effective demand in his life, then how he can get that thing? For Bhagwan, actually, there is no demand in any world hands to get a Bhagwan. So then, how he can uh, take Bhagwan? So whatever is going on is going on like that. In the Shastras also it is written that 
nowadays the persons are not at all actually no person actually don't want to understand this kind of point that it is written in the shastras that up to that point that karadme sanskar that inside his ear that gayatri mantra etc and bhagwan naam is not going inside his ear up to that point ये जो अफ्राफी जगत का शब्द है अफ्राफी जगत का शब्द है ही कांट हीर दैट ही डोंट हैव दैट कैपेसिटी टू हीर दैट जब तक इसका कर्ण भेद व्हेन दैट इस कर्ण भेद दैट कर्ण भेद संस्कार में व्हेन इज इन एयर दैट फ्रॉम इंफिनिटी टाइम ही इज जस्ट हीरिंग ऑल मटेरियल साउंड एंड इज बिकम जस्ट लाइक अ डेफ ही जस्ट नीड टू रिमूव ऑल दिस एंड जस्ट नीड टू Increase the whole reception power. So the actual capacity of the ears to hear more that can only be possible by Guru Kripa. So that's why it is written up till this point that in Ved Puran etc. The person can just read that only when he is just actually established in Guru Seva. At least he is just hearing Gayatri and just doing jab and just uh, be hearing the uh, Hari Nam also. And just doing Hari Nam on his Jap Mana. Slowly, slowly, he will get the qualification to hear Hari Katha. When this is the actual rule, then uh, up till what point this which are is. So the thing is, in the Shruti Shastra it is written. It means that uh, I have already told you that those who have got uh, the lotus feet of Guru Dev and they have just taken diksha from Guru Dev and their sambandh is just getting fixed in their sambandh just by the grip of Guru Dev and he has just become bhakti man. Like uh, we have bhakti in Bhagwan, when we will be having that bhakti in the Guru Jaran. It is all on the same, and if we will be having more bhakti in Guru Dev Lotus Feet, then it is more good. It is more good to get bhakti. Like if we are getting bhakti on that Radha Rani Lotus Feet or Krishna, it is more. Good. It is good, but if it is one and the same, both the things, then it is also good. That's why in front of them, the actual deep meaning of the shastras will be there inside their heart, and they can understand that. Just by the kripa of Guru Dev and Vaishnav, definitely they can understand the in-depth meaning of the shastras will be there inside their heart. Otherwise, uh, that in-depth uh, uh, reason will not be held in his heart. Maybe he is a very big uh, uh, platform speaker. What will be happen? He is actually just uh, read it on his own, and he is just speaking shastra materially. There is one story I am just remembering that Hari Nam, that uh, Hari Nam with Hari Nam with Anth and Bhagwat, everything is connected. So much it cannot be attained by any man power, educational power, that local every every power, all kind of power is useless. to get this there is actually in one place there is a vidhan sabha going on there and in so all other people are the are there and they are all actually just want to hear the in depth uh, discussion of the vedant and lot of uh, uh, vedantis uh, sadhus are sitting there in order to hear that and each and every shloki is just speaking the uh, one one vyakya of vedant and sundar means according to their beautiful that shloka they are speaking and actually what happened uh, one sadhu there of one temple who has just got the responsibility of the whole temple on him that sadhu it is uh, All the pandit uh, actually speaking to him that uh, you have just uh, arranged all the anushtan of this uh, temple and you have just bring all the persons in front of uh, us and a lot of people have came here 
but still i just want to hear something for, about vedant and that's sadhu speaking that i don't know anything about vedant okay whatever you heard from gurudev that is the actual your gurudev was master of vedant so he must have also heard from someone that i just want to hear some vedant from him when still he is actually foolish whole material world thinking is foolish he don't know anything and this all pundit people thinking that he don't have any intelligence and he is just foolish and still uh, omara you just speak no worries when he just started speaking and was uh, in front of them it is very surprising to see that after doing guru vandana he has just started doing go vyakya of uh, and the whole Pandit Samaj there actually just got mad just by hearing that that how it is possible that he has he, he told that he don't know anything he is actually illiterate but we haven't heard this kind of Siddhant so it means that he has just got the grip of Vedanta he has got the uh, when we get her grip of Harinam then only we can do Harinam if we the Harinam is not coming out Maybe lot of provision and uh, what out all seva we have done previously. Still, the pure harinam is not coming on my account. It means that persons, whosoever they will be, whatever they will be speaking, there is no effect on us. And this siddhant is to most pure. Uh, yeah. In my life, I have done a lot of seva, Maharaj. and what of uh, the seva i have done in my life but still harinam hasn't come on my tongue that actual harinam hasn't come it means that it means that inside our heart there is some aparad still there and uh, we are just doing uh, Uh, aparad on to lotus feet of hari naam uh, naam dham everything we are doing and it's still in the hidden form and it is not like that i am a very big pundit and i can just uh, speak about vedant prabhupada actually just swam speaking and gaur ki shodas baba ji are also speaking the same the bhagavatam which is actually swam who is actually swam granth bhagavat that bhagavad bhagavad will definitely be understanding that who is swayam bhagavad he can only understand the uh, granth bhagavad otherwise others can't uh, think that way so this kind of when they just heard this vyakhya of vedant they just all become surprised and when the sabha just got dissolved he was just, just all the pandit people just with the folded and they're speaking that maharaj you don't have this kind of gyan of vedant Then how it is possible for you to just speak like this? Such a deep meaning of Vedanta it is. It is not at all possible for a learned person as well. So that they were asking that how actually that gyan of Vedanta it looks like a, some kind of realization is coming out. It is just not the lecture you are speaking. What you have already spoken, it is the, not a lecture. It is just a realization. So that Sanyasi actually just with a very folded head speaking in front of them. That actually, if you're not feeling uh, bad, then I will speak one thing. Yes, yes, no, no. We will not be feeling bad. You just speak uh, the absolute thing. Then Maharaj actually, you think you just told uh, just by touching Vedant that in your life, what is the actual. Uh, Uh, what is the actual pathway of your life? What is the actual uh, thinking of your life? That uh, I just want to become a Vedanti. You, this is your actual goal, no? Your target was to become a big Vedanti. That you should uh, become a very big Vedanti, and you will be just discussing Vedant. But in my life, there is no a goal like this. I just always want. I all already know that I am actually illiterate. I can't speak even Vedant in front of anyone like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like uh, speaking in front of Prakash Anand. Mahaprabhu himself speaking to Prakash Anand Saraswati. That Guru Dev just have seen me that he actually is foolish, so that in order to teach us, Mahaprabhu actually speaking this. That Guru Dev actually when seeing me that he is actually mad. Foolish! You don't know have any adhikar on Vedanta. You just do Nam Sankirtan so that 
the mahaprabhu can just break their false ego because they don't have any realization regarding vedant and they are thinking that they are very actually big vedant but they don't know vedant is well. when someone is getting the kripa of vedant then definitely he will be thinking that what is actually vedant who will actually get the kripa of shrimad bhagavad ji mahapran uh, they will get the kripa of that other persons cannot uh, think about that kripa so what is the actual uh, life uh, goal of our life which that we will become a big vedanti and uh, they are actually foolish they are thinking that uh, how can i can be a vedanti whatever he has heard from the gurudev he just want to apply in his life through seva so now actually on this tank all these realization as coming from his tank you see lot of things are there like this like in the university in hindu university there is one professor there that professor he is he is a very big vedanti and in the afternoon time he has just uh, went to the quarter to his own house and he is actually taking prasadam Uh, just taking some food he all every day he this kind of rule is there he or uh, he, uh, he actually came to back to his home and the wife has just given him all roti and sabji everything and he started eating and after that he is just going to to what you have given me what happened you haven't put any salt in it you haven't put any salt in the sabji then he speaks all the he is actually speaking foul language there and the wife actually speaking actually you forgive me actually every day i used to put salt but today i just forgive i don't know how i just forget to put salt in the sabji are you just uh, please uh, uh, you just uh, give me you can just take different salt and just uh, put it and just take it then sanyasi that uh, vedanti speaking that uh, differently you will give salt uh, i will will be i getting that sweet, uh, taste then that uh, five actually from her mouth actually immediately that word is coming that from uh, different so much years you are just uh, giving knowledge of vedant but still he is not getting taste in vedant he is actually just uh, finding taste in the sabji so this kind of thing actually when not she speaking anything else that she is actually doing uh, giving uh, knowledge of vedant to others but he actually not getting the taste of vedant he is get he is actually finding taste in sabji it's very strange after that when the professor just heard that that actually i am realizing this thing that i am a very big professor and she has just given me such a good moral that i will be just uh, be very feeling full of embarrassment for my whole life so actually this is the vichar of bhagavad as well it is written in the bhagavad as well but uh, we need time to uh, express that as well because we have very less time when hari ram is coming in the time of, in the in the in the roop of bhagwan nam and krishna everything is same so that's why if someone actually asking us question that parikshit maharaj has which, taken which kind of dikshan from here He has taken a real answer that how possible he has just get shakti. The actual answer behind this is that that Parikshit Maharaj actually previously the behavior of Parikshit Maharaj he is having that be number one man and he has just got shanagat and is definitely the Mahabharat also he has taken a sharan because he knows he can realize that within seven days he is gonna die and he gonna. Uh, leave his own body, so that's why he is actually all the time ready. Okay, no worries. He just started hearing Bhagavatam, and when he just uh, after hearing Bhagavad Gita Mahapuram from Sukhdev Goswami, then when he just got that absolute mangal, he just got that siddhi, means bhakti siddhi. Before that, there is sarup siddhi, and after that, vastu siddhi definitely will be there. What is the actual reason behind that? That Prabhupada actually speaking. I am actually not speaking. With my speaking, nothing will happen. Prabhupada actually speaking. That uh, whether Prishit Maharaj has heard the Bhagavad Gita, 
क्या सुखदेव गोस्वामी वेदर परीक्षित महाराज देयर एनी एनी फॉल्ट ऑफ दीक्षा इनसाइड परीक्षित महाराज यू जस्ट गिव मी द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट व्हिच प्रभुपद एक्चुअली यूज्ड टू स्पीक दैट द नॉर्मल फाउंडेड जीवा दे आर स्पीकिंग दैट वी हैव टेकन दीक्षा एंड वी हैव डन दिस सो दैट वी आर ओनली डूइंग भजन एंड दैट परीक्षित महाराज that who has just in his mother womb has taken the darshan of bhagwan in which he is janam kundli it is already there that, that he is mahabhagwat but uh, even after reading one bhagwat ji mahabhagwan this is a mandavide prayojan that is relation is not uh, established inside his heart then prabhupad actually speaking what do you mean by diksha when someone actually question prabhupad that uh, you tell prabhupad speaking that uh, what do you mean by diksha prabhupad asking that divya gyan kuriya paap prashansha ye to diksha that is actually diksha so what diksha is there in your life what what kind of diksha you have got in your life that you are having that false ego that you have got diksha then you just prove that you have got diksha you just uh, prove that you have divya gyan inside your heart and the in the life of parikshit maharaj just by hearing bhagavatam definitely he he all just get the knowledge of sambandha with the prayoja so just by hearing bhagavatam if he got diksha because bhagavad gita mahaprabhu is sakshat krishna and krishna and krishna was non different it is all the same i am not speaking that uh, you should just stop doing hari naam from tomorrow i am just giving you one vichar भगवान जी महाप्राण भगवान जी महाप्राण अबाउट दैट इट इज रिटर्न कृष्ण ही दैट कृष्ण इज द कृष्ण शब्द ब्रह्म का रूप है दैट कृष्ण इज कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ शब्द ब्रह्म अब नाम रूप में एंड नाउ ही हैज जस्ट टेकन द फॉर्म ऑफ नाम अवतार इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस अनादि निदनम ब्रह्म शब्द तत्वम जगत शरण जन्म कुंडली महाभागवत एंड मेन बी हियरिंग दैट top most vishnu like uh, sukhdev goswami uh, if you are hearing it from the lotus feet of lotus mouth of uh, mahapurush and still you are feeling that there is no sambandh gyan then that is not at all good because in order to hear bhagavad gita he has heard so much so much hari katha and with very careful mood he has just heard that after gurudev just gone and he has very less time left in that he has just spoken brat bhagavatam brat bhagavatam re tum mother uttara so bhagavad ji mahapuran who has got grip of bhagavad ji mahapuran to ye kya vishnu then he is actually not a vishnu he don't know the actual meaning of the bhagavat so why actually prabhupad speaking like this about gor kishor das baba ji that externally people are speaking that baba ji maharaj has no external education but it is very strange to hear that how he is actually speaking this uh, explanation of that shlok and prabhupad actually speaking that inside whose heart swayam bhagwan is there inside his heart inside that heart of baba ji maharaj the bhagwan is swayam there there, there can be any uh, there can be any fault um, in his commentary inside his heart bhagwan swayam is there whether there be any fault in his uh, explanation that he is mahabhagwat actually that's why he can explain that there is actually one king in the previous uh, now actually in our krishna nagar that krishna chandra maharaj that king is there krishna chandra king he is actually against someone that krishna chandra king is actually against someone and he, he always used to give tax to some muslim ruler so he is also become a king iska samne koi pandit aaya sampan ke ban ban to mein samne sir maran nasi he just uh, take an every knowledge about that 
Bhagwaji Mabra and everything. And he is actually, he is actually in front of the king is speaking. That uh, to art, you just hear Bhagavatam from my mouth, and actually I have just already taken the explanation from Varanasi about Bhagavatam. The king actually speaking that you haven't got any clip of Bhagavatam, so how I can hear what you are speaking? I have just, uh, I am a very big pandit, and I have just passed the exam as well, and you are speaking that. Uh, you just uh, don't feel bad. You haven't got any clip of Bhagavatam, so how you can give me? And in very angry mood, he just become very so much angry. He just uh, went back, and he just uh, again uh, uh, doing uh, the Bhagavatam with full uh, commentary, and he is just coming back to the king again, and he is speaking that uh, I have already. Uh, uh, done uh, Bhagavatam Vyakha, you just hear that. Then the king spe- speaking that you haven't got any kripa of Bhagavad Ji Mahapura. That what you are actually speaking, and actually, I am actually just coming from there, and just you can ask any question from me. And you are speaking, you are not got kripa of Bhagavatam. Actually, it is not a question of asking question to you. You haven't got the kripa of Bhagavad Ji Mahapura. So after that, you become very. Uh, dist- unhappy. Actually, he just uh, went in front of the king to just get some money. He is just not like uh, Prabhupada that uh, Prabhupada that was speaking uh, someone that Param Shuddha Vaishnav, whether some person is hearing or not, he don't have any effect on that. So actually, Bhagwan is actually hearing. He has that relationship. So that Paramahansa Guru Vaishnav, when he is, we are seeing that that kind of vichar is also coming in us. Uh, in Surya Kund, I used to speak six to eight hours in front of Bhagwan. Nobody is there. Just like mad, I am speaking. So I have just, uh, uh, I have just. Uh, uh, why we don't have this much power? That in Surya Kund, I will be just. Uh, always used to speak in front of Krishna and in, Sun, in front of Sujana I was just speaking maybe one to two four Prajvasis were coming and what actually speaking Prajvasis speaking what you are speaking they can't understand the Siddhant but still whatever I will be speaking in front of them still they are like that so this kind of thing actually that one has just become very, very unhappy and just get out from the home and he just went to Varanasi and after that in a very lonely place he is just taking bath in Ganga and in front of Ganga he is just uh, doing some puja of Ganga and after that just uh, and I have heard a lot of Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran actually I have not caught any Kripa how it is possible okay he just got into a lonely place and in a very silent place he started speaking Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran and someone actually he has no greediness nothing is there he is actually speaking not no he is doing he is speaking Bhagavad Mahapuran he just got in order to get the grip of Bhagavad Mahapuran he is speaking Bhagavad Mahapuran and he is when the earth is going from our heart definitely we will get that crying mood in Harina when an earth is there then crying mood will not come then Anartha actually all gone from the heart of that Brahman and slowly steadily he is getting attachment towards that Bhagavatam. That uh, tears just rolling down his cheeks and uh, that uh, Raja just uh, became very mad. You know, where is that Pandit gone? He is just finding that Pandit but still he is not getting that. He actually maybe just by speaking like this what I have told him he definitely will be, become unhappy with me. We just uh, see where he is actually. All the people were there just uh, seeing him where it is, where it is. After that, maybe uh, someone has taken this news that I went to Varanasi. That there actually I have seen in uh, one temple in a very silent place he is actually doing Bhagavad Mahapura speaking. You, he said the king actually speaking. He has just uh, modified his, transformed his, himself in front of that Panditji and just uh, just uh, paying dandvat on the lotus feet of Panditji. And Panditji actually just became very frightened, anxiety, full of anxiety that you are here actually. Actually, I am just here to just hear Bhagavatam. You are speaking to me previously that I haven't got the clip of Bhagavatam. Now, today, no. 
we have got the grip of Bhagavatam today. Now me and you will just speak Bhagavatam, we just go on hearing Bhagavatam and just be hearing, that's it. So you just see the actual uh, uh, in-depth vision of this inside the ears of Ajamil, that Bhagavad Katha, that Bhagavan Naam. It is there. What is that? What is the actual effect on his ears? When Ajamil actually has just uh, taken him into a very serious condition, he has just uh, realized this, that apart from this, no support is there. At that time in his life, what is the actual uh, thing happened? That uh, he has just... Uh, 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 he has just uh, made the name of his small child as Narayan and at the time of death he is just uh, he is just uh, with frightened mood he is speaking Narayan, his child name small child name and when he is just uh, uh, calling his father uh, his uh, son Narayan name then he just by Namabhas he just got mukt from that condition there is also an in-depth which are I will definitely be speaking with a man to two days Inside uh, that person who is getting uh, that bhakti onto lotus feet of Guru Gurudev, then definitely he'll be getting the bhakti onto lotus feet of uh, bhakti of uh, Shri Krishna as well. So in front of them only, you can just discuss the in-depth uh, discussion of the shastras. In front of them only, you just need to speak about the in-depth uh, uh, discussion of the Shastra. Definitely it will get uh, uh, manifested. Whether he has done a lot of uh, study, but still it will, nothing will happen. In front of them only, the actual meaning of the Shastra will get manifested. The in-depth uh, meaning of the Shastra will get uh, manifested. In front of everyone it will not get manifest. Those who are having that Achala Bhakti onto Lotus Feet of Krishna and he has that same Bhakti onto Lotus Feet of Gurudev, that Shruti Smriti Puran, they are actually, their part actually is Mamam, that is actually Chist. That inner meaning will just get manifested in front of them. That's why Mahaprabhuji has told in the third shloka that if you want to do Harinam and you want to speak Harigatha, Chatyo means that if Harinam will do, do keep on me and Harinam Harikatha will do grip on me, then definitely you need to be Tranadapi. When you will become Tranadapi, definitely you will get the grip of Bhagavan automatically. Or this is the actual yogyata, that is the actual efficiency. Efficiency is nothing else. I have just done a lot of studies. That is not at all efficiency. When we are just giving uh, respect to others and just with a very humble mood, we don't need any La Puja Pratishta from, his, uh, from our own and we don't have any desire to take that. When it is not there inside our heart, and we are just giving respect to others, the very humble mood. We are doing Harinam Kirtan like this. In this situation, if we are doing Kirtaniya, means in that situation, we should do that. Kirtaniya. Palaniya, we definitely we have to uh, do that. Palaniya means definitely we have to do that. So this is the actual condition, that in order to do Harinam, Prabhupada speaking, uh, when there is Radha Vishwanish Bhav, uh, they are manifested inside our uh, life, then only it is possible to do Harinam Sankirtan. Maybe very, uh, very uh, knowingly and unknowingly, very small. Knowing unknowingly also, if we, it is there inside our heart, this kind of uh, 
coming of uh, at least some pratishta should be there in my life then prabhupada speaking that if uh, anyone just want to become going on to the upper platform in his material life then definitely that natranadi pipa will get just get vanished and harikatha 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 will also get vanished from his life so prabhupada has also given one example regarding this जस्ट बी श्योर देर इज नोट इज दिस पॉइंट प्रोपर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट जस्ट बी श्योर ऑन वन पॉइंट दैट वॉट एवर ग्रास इज देयर ऑन द फील्ड वॉट एवर ग्रास इज देयर ऑन द फील्ड दैट ऑल कैटल एंड हॉर्स दे ऑल ईट अप दैट ग्रास because grass is very big but but when we are going on the football uh, when we mohan 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 is bengal i am just going to the football ground i just used to get uh, the pass also i used to go there and play football as well a lot of time i used to go there in the childhood and i used to play there i have just seen one thing there that they that the grass of that football is so nice that is so leveled up that they have just made one design how it is possible they have just a uh, very costly roller is there and they are just rolling it with costly roller and they are just cutter and with that cutting the grass like the eden garden cricket ground is there so much nice ground is there very international what to speak about that they have just uh, leveling the grass so much that you can't even imagine so proper actually giving this example if you are just like a blade of grass you are just coming up still this uh, ash and dumb ash will just take it take the grass it definitely eat it up definitely he will eat maybe that grass is a bit up still it will that ash will eat the horse will eat that everyone will take that grass and if you just want to become more humbler than the blade of grass then nobody will take, take that why because they will not be taking them from their teeth we have all i have already seen there are lot of people in our vaishnava samaj that what they are doing they are actually they are just taking one machine and they are just starting that machine so the hair becomes so light so light it looks like they have just done shave you have actually done the shaving of your hair no 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 actually it is not shaving mara when uh, there will be some contamination will be done so that's why i just put on the machine that is not shaving he has just put on the machine and uh, the hairs are becoming so uh, fine that even if with your nails also you can't get it out i was just laughing how it is actually possible actually there is one machine is like this if you just open it then it will just uh, become so fine the hairs then even with the nails also we can't uh, pick it up like when in the childhood when we used to go to the school lot of people actually lot of students were there actually they are not at all studying there in the school and then master that master will do what there are some masters are like this they just used to uh, take the hairs in his hand and just slapping two to three slaps so like this some uh, child will be there who will be just uh, he just used to cut his hair like that so that master that master can't uh, uh, take out his hair and slap him so so actually intelligent like that so actually proper actually speaking that uh, how actually it is uh, proper speaking this point that if maybe like a blade of grass you are becoming a bit up then definitely that uh, uh, cattle or some horse will come and eat so it is best then uh, you are coming here to do bhajan so you just become uh, more uh, humbler than blade of grass so that they can't eat you up so there will be no possibility to get a false ego inside your heart because if something happens then uh, inside whose heart there is the knowledge there he is so much powerful 
you can't even imagine that you are actually thinking that those who are not there and other be that actually is ankar that is the reverse actually you are actually hearing it in reverse that those who have become trinadipi definitely they have so much power so much power that you can get uh, victory over each and every one that is his power externally you are just eating fish meat everything but you don't know that trinadipi baba has so much power and when someone actually speaking some bad word still you are just having that patience to have that patience inside you so so much power is there that so much in depth uh, uh, vichar is there that we can't even discuss that so tranadevi means so much power he has that you can't even imagine so those who are tranadevi those who is an actual sadhu with the full acharan he has in front of them if he is doing some cup some kapat acharya or maharaj is coming definitely he will just uh, become fearful then actually our our nakedness will come in front of everyone he become fearful in this case so, so why because uh, he has the power of his acharya he don't have anything uh, that which are from la puja pratishta he is from he is very far away from that that is actually giving him power so that's why prabhupada actually speaking that if in their life there no smell of la puja pratishta is there then he is such a powerful sadhu you can't even imagine so what shlok i have already started with in that shloka it is written on that paratpar akhileshwar bhagwan that merciful lord we are just speaking the name of that supreme lord with full uh, we are already going to die and he is actually just going down and just uh, going to die you can understand what i am speaking i just remember one story actually it is not from our own sampradaya so that you can hear it is good there is one big mahanti राव now he can't fight with him so what uh, to do now what he has done that when maharaj ji used to go to bath to bath in the river ganga then he is a very in in one step in one stair he just uh, uh, he was just sleeping in one stair and now maharaj ji coming very slowly steadily and he has just uh, put his feet on them or oh, you are truly person oh my god i have just uh, put my feet on some person so he actually that unknowingly he is just speaking ram that that haridas thakur speaking that prabhu you you don't worry about that those muslim people they are all they are actually not doing harinam directly but still why we are actually getting uh, intention definitely they will speak haram haram means they will get the absolute mangal that ha is the explanation and ram naam will definitely be there nama vas will be there nama vas but nama vas is definitely there so this nama vas will be done and whatever i what did i told you now that baba actually he was no because he is from a low family he don't want to give him hari naam he actually when maharaj he is speaking ram like that then he understood that from the lotus mouth of maharaj i have just got the naam and just by taking that name he just got siddh so that is the glorification of naam 
Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is also speaking that up till that point when we have full confidence on Hari Nam, from that point, when at that point we have full confidence on Hari Nam, we have full confidence, then Hari Nam will definitely in our life it will come in the form of Swayam Bhagwan as well. When we will be doing Hari Nam, you will get that confidence that okay, Bhagwan and Nam is non different. Then Nam will definitely transform our life. Everything will get changed in our life. Just by speaking Hari Nam. Like I have already told you that in the Ramayan Balmaki Muni in his previous life, was when he was Ratanakar Dastu. He is actually the Vaid. He is actually a very big robber. Heartless Vaid is the, he actually. He is actually just got the grip of Naraji also. He just got transformed his life as well. That Vaid, that hunter. So the glorification of Nam is topmost. Like Bhakti Thakur actually speaking, that in your life, if Tranadepi Bhav is there, and you have full faith on Harinam. Up to that point, you will be have that adhikar on Harinam. Lot of people have just put this kind of question in front of us. That Maharaj, why it is written? That uh, you got to understand that why actually it is written there like this. Actually, it is written there. That Tiksha. Jiksha Purusharan, they are not at all uh, uh, avoiding that. Why actually it is written there? That no Diksha is required for that. Uh, and no Harinam, only by Harinam everything will be done. You just hear this point. Just hear it, the very in depth discussion. I have already uh, just published it in the book as well about the Char of Bhakti Thakur. Now, actually, what I am speaking now. Now, two minutes before what I have told, I have told that when that day we will be having that full confidence on Harinam, full confidence that Nam is and Harinam is non different. And this kind of, uh, you know, only one thing that uh, my Gurudev and Bhagwan is non different. At that point, that Harinam will definitely start dancing on my tongue. What does it mean? What does it actually mean? It means that, that whenever we are just, uh, uh, that is Prabhupada Vichar, when we will be having 100% Shannagati on to Harinam, that my Gurudev and Bhagwan is non different. Guru, Bhagwan has come in the form of Gurudev. Then we will get Adhikar and Bhagwan. That's why Bhakti Thakur speaking in this uh, same thing that in your life, those who don't have any faith on Gurudev, then he can't speak Harinam. That is one and the same thing, no? If A is equal to B, B is equal to C, C is equal to D, means A must be equal to D. This is actually mathematics so which are so it is written karmatic maths. Karmatic nyaya it is written. That is called karmatic nyaya. Means that if it is there then definitely this will be done. So like this. Like Bhakti Thakur now speaking, that in his life in the life of that person, he has got the full confidence on Harinam, 100%. Like I have told you today, then you have no, no you are finding it non different, that your Gurudev and Bhagwan is non different, and that uh, the actual Prabhav of Harinam will definitely come in your life. Accept. So, to, in that life, they, they have full confidence on Harinam, then Bhakti Thakur speaking, that is his qualification. That is his actual qualification or nothing. That he has full 100% confidence on Harinam. That is the only qualification. Which means that he has full confidence on Guru Charan. Because if he don't have no confidence on Guru Charan, then how he can get confidence on Bhagwan? Because Nam and Nam, Nam and Nami are in non-different. Like uh, uh, Gaur Kishore Das Baba it is written in the Kirtan and it is also written in the Kirtan as well Bhakti Mahat Thakur it is written it means 
गौर धाम एंड वृंदावन आर नॉन डिफरेंट गौर किशोर दस मामा जी महाराज अष्टकम और छोटी जीटर अधिकारी so for him he don't need any kind of diksha diksha is already done in his case diksha already done in his case like i have already told you that parikshit mamra just uh, hearing bhagavad gita every thing is done and those who have just take diksha um, but still they haven't find anything in their life but how it is possible maharaj bhakti mun thakur ne ye vichar bhakti mun thakur ne stole this point दीक्षा मंत्र That's why Ravanath Das Goswami ji has written. Ravanath Das Goswami has written this point in the Kirtan. What he has written, Ravanath Das Goswami. speaking that oh yeah that just to take your lotus feet and actually speaking oh my mind guru guru charanam mein guru charan in vindavan actually in gosthalay all those brajwasi brahman log who are staying there who surgan who surgan and those brahmans and uh, this mantra what i have got it from gurudev that is harinam that uh, i have all the time you just need to put your heart in that true seva all the time they prabhu my my mind you do this i am just requesting you in front of you i am just taking a lotus feet please do that it means that definitely diksha is very important otherwise other shastra vichar we just be going into water everything hari naam diksha shiksha guru padma padarshak guru diksha guru everyone is essential who is not who is speaking that it is not at all essential everything is essential like but there is one question in it if in their life from from birth after birth they are having this kind of bhav inside their heart that with hari naam everything will be done हरि नाम में जिसका दैट विद हरि नाम ही इज गेटिंग आनंद नाम एंड चाइल्डहुड ही इज गेटिंग एंजॉयमेंट लाइक 
so they actually this kind of sanskar is there that birth after birth if divya purush will also come in front of them maybe uh, it is not like that uh, in the previous jnan like gopinath uh, tagore gopal and aridas tagore how they were they are actually bhadra ji uh, from the very beginning they have ruchi narina so they are pino tagore ji is speaking this which are if we someone is under citing that uh, this uh, harinam is will be will, uh, everything will be done with harinam diksha is not required bhakti mota was speaking it is not like that if uh, from our previous birth birth after birth he has so much uh, natural tendency towards harinam ruchi towards harinam and he has full confidence that with harinam everything will be done like haridas thakur haridas thakur everything is done by harinam he is actually namacharya so with harinam everything is done in his life and bhakti mota thakur actually speaking that in that in, in that life they had that full confidence in that harinam is actually swayam bhagwan and without harinam nothing can be done if uh, he will take harinam from someone that harinam will definitely be doing everything in his life that's why it is written for uh, everyone it is not there just be sure about this point this point what i am telling you it is not applicable for everybody it is not applicable for everyone there must be general rules and regulations that that everyone has to take diksha like uh, some days before in devanand goriamand man mara ji came to me and he is just uh, speaking to me that there is one temple in baj bajwaj in calcutta some place and they are actually all mata ji ki are just taking sanyas and they are giving diksha there should be some pratibhat um, uh, and i am speaking actually i am uh, doing a lot of pratibhad and nobody want to hear that okay definitely i will be helping you and after that i have just given in the internet in the writing mode written form as well there is those who just want to go with a fighting mode with us that is not at all good it is what there is one uh, foreigner mata ji she is actually lot of faith in me before but now i don't know what kind of faith now she has with me she started actually arguing with me so much hari katha she was hearing there is no question in his life that what she has not got any answer of that question what she has put in front of me but still because of asat sang she just got into fallen condition and she is actually writing to me that you are speaking in hari katha that mata ji is uh cannot can work as diksha guru i told her that uh, i am actually not i am speaking about the shastra not about myself then she actually just uh, doing one tark arguing that hemlata and janvata thakurani they are have a very special case so they are actually extraordinary and uh, what i have given him the answer or the answer the, that is actually extraordinary that's why she just become shut up for his whole life she is shut up now because she is actually going against shastra so this is my actual thing that i have to prove this thing in front of her so like this it is a thing no one actually uh, not understanding but we have to understand them if you want to go to your own uh, country you just go back to your foreign country you have just come here to just do hari bhajan or else you just want to become gurudev and just want to loot everyone foolish so frogs that so like this what happened the vichar of bhakti mohan thakur actually the bhakti mohan thakur vichar is that that in someone life it is uh, uh, like that uh, with hari nam everything will be done in someone's life we can see that that he don't need any kind of diksha but still these are not the general rules maybe this is an exceptional case it is very very exceptional case very special case it is not applicable for everyone these are the general rules that diksha is important everything is required slowly steadily he has to go and cut his material bondage
and move forward and what do you mean by diksha you just understand this point by that we can just get the gyan by that thing we can get the gyan and for infinity period uh, our sinful activities are just uh, uh, destroyed into sand if it is like this then it is called diksha otherwise in order to just uh, do exhibition in front of people that is not diksha bhakti ko thakur has just uh, become very sad and unhappy and he just uh, today and all these acharyas are not at all observing this uh, point that's why in all the four direction this distressfulness has been there like there is one shop you just come to our shop you go to hathi bazar in calcutta everyone is calling you you come to our shop and they are just calling you and just uh, asking to just take things from them so like this the diksha is not possible like this bhakti no thakur is becoming very distressful and unhappy that they are actually don't want to hear about the talkings of hari bhakti vilas they just want to just make a vasta in this hari bhajan they are not at all understanding even one point and we go to giving diksha to anyone and we go giving hari and oh it's like a market just give it give it give it just take hari nam if if you can take it then it's okay like in vrindavan in the bandara they are speaking radha ji ka bandara hai that is this is actually radha rani bandara is so if you want to take it you can take otherwise you can just get lost so actually they don't know what they can do they just like foolish they are doing and so actually prabhupad prabhupad vichar and guru varg vichar is like this and apart from this if you will be doing in opposite then you will definitely get amangal if you will go in the opposite direction whatever actually is going on now i am actually speaking that within 2 years coming within 2 to 4 years definitely in this whole material world what actually is going on or what will happen if you will just hear then definitely you will become mad you will become mad every 2 4 years back the opportunity the condition which is going to do which will be done is very difficult to handle and if you have the desire to do bhajan then you do that actual bhajan and you just uh, don't speak anything don't do any kind of neta giri don't do guru guri at all don't do that just uh, so speaking when and do and bhajan that's it in order to just uh, save you so today actually i'll be just resting today because time is very less today and it is the second pravachan will be just starting